It's the start of a new season here in our My Player Career Mode, as this season we enter the Champions League with AC Milan, looking to add that to our collection of trophies, alongside retaining the Serie A and the Coppa Italia trophies that we won last season. Welcome back, my friends, to our My Player Career Mode. I appreciate all the love and support from all of you, as always, and I hope I find you all doing very well and having an awesome day. Plan of action for today's episode is get the transfer window through, see what the squad looks like heading into the new season. We'll also be taking on Cremonese, Atalanta uh, and uh, possibly Monza and Roma in today's episode. But we'll have to wait and see if any other fixtures do get added. So without further ado, sit back, relax and enjoy this episode, my friends. 500 likes would be awesome. Yevon Diouf has joined us from Sheffield United. He is a goalkeeper, 82 rated, I imagine, to play as backup to Mike Minion. One sale to tell you about is Gavardiol, who has left. Don't know where he's gone. I can't find the news article, but he's no longer an AC Milan player. And no disrespect to Cremonese, but this should be a routine victory for us here at AC Milan, especially in front of our home fans. The boss has named that team on your screen, who now starts up front in place of Mukoko or Wahi, but uh, there is a debut as well for Bade at centre-back alongside Ruben Diaz. The start of a new season, always filled with optimism, but can Milan replicate the form that we saw of them last year? We had, what was it, 33 wins out of 38 league matches, which is a remarkable feat, as Unal's found me already! Oh, he really should have been in front. We've hit the inside of the post and the ball has bounced back out and it's claimed by Cremonese. Now a bit of defending for us to do then with the corner being sent in by, by McGlynn and that is a diving save of the highest quality from Mike Minion. McGlynn with another corner here for Cremonese, the second in a row. That one is dealt with by Teo Hernandez. Can we get to the loose ball? We have done and it's a brilliant touch as well and look at the space that we've got here as we drive through and alongside me is Samuel Chukweze for a tap in. And we will just lay it across selflessly. And it's Milan who leads. Easy job for Chukweze to finish. But it was all about the run that we made following the corner from Cremonese. We've had so many player of the seasons in terms of our individual awards for each team we've been at. But we are yet to win player of the year, the Ballon d'Or. I really would like it to be this year that we put in a shift to try and do just that. As Liao is on the goals as well. Five minutes later, it's 2-0 Milan. And he's another player who could well be in the Ballon d'Or shouts come the end of this year. So Milan corner, Liao will take this. We opt to go short, but he sends it into a position where Hernandez gets there. It is terrible goalkeeping by Buntic. And Cremonese's day is going from bad to worse. 3-0 after just half an hour at the San Siro. Minion's long ball forward. Liao will challenge for this. He doesn't win the header though. Now Zani Machia can take it forwards for Cremonese. Into the feet here of Okareke. And now Milaneze through as they are getting a chance here. Cremonese to get one back. And they will. It is a sign of life from them. And they needed that as well because the way this was going, Milan were looking like they were going to have a hefty victory. They still could get that. But at least there's a response from Cremonese. Bernardo away from the challenge. Now Unal. Good strength shown. Finds the feet of Liao. Liao slides that ball towards myself. We open up a half yard. And it's enough to find the bottom corner. Straight back to it. 4-1 now. And you know the saying, start as you mean to go on. Is that what we're seeing here from Milan? Pretty much picking up where they left off last season. Free flowing, free scoring. Again, we'll fake short with this corner. And Liao will send it into the box. There's Hernandez and back post. On his debut. It is a debut goal for Bade. As he arrives, I think Hernandez is actually trying to head the ball goalwards. I don't think he's going for a flick on, but it worked out like that. And Bade just gets there and sends it goalwards. It's off the goalkeeper, but it will be Bade's goal. And it is a debut goal for him as well. 5-1 Milan. Chukweze. Now Unal. Still half an hour to go here. Unal, Chukweze. They're so open defensively. Kremenese. It's Chukweze for a double. And it's six now for Milan. And there are some transfer rumours going around that Samuel Chukweze may well be leaving for PSG. Well, he's got a double here and he could be a crucial part to Milan's season. So hopefully we won't see him leave the club. 
And my plan was to show you the very brief highlights from this first game of the season because I did expect us to win it. Wasn't expecting, though, to be seven goals in the game. And that is exactly how it's been, as we <laughs> will probably be booked for that challenge. Nope, the referee's feeling lenient, so it's just a foul. While he comes on for Unal, 25 minutes to play. He'll be fancying his chances of getting a goal as well. And that's not to say that Mike Minion hasn't had a couple of moments himself to make some saves. Great stop there. There's a 1-2 with Liao. Now we'll find Wahi. We'll run off to his right. Wahi has a chance to slide it through and he does do that. We're in for number seven. And this, this is becoming an even better day than expected. Two additional minutes. Here's Mukoko. Now Wahi. Lovely back heel. Chukweze is on a hat-trick. I would like to try and get him it. But by being selfless, I think I played one too many passes. But we've still got a chance here. Buntic gets out. Stops the goal going across. And it is 7-1 the full-time score here at the San Siro to kickstart the new season. And I am currently sat on £3.4 million. We've got this here, Purchase a Mansion, which gives us 800 heartbeat points. But we need £5.5 .5 million for it. Um, we do have some investments as well that I have got returning. So we are close. And the reason that's important is because at some point we might be able to unlock the Playstyle Plus. We need 65% of points in the heart beat section we're currently on 62 percent a lot of interest as well in bar who could well be leaving the club along with chukweze i think for the moment though nothing has come of those rumors in fact we have let go of one player who is that player it is samuel chukweze so he has gone to psg i did say there was a chance that could happen chukweze has left following his brace on the opening day of the season so I wonder who will play out wide on the right-hand side. Possibly Bernardo. Or this could be an interesting turn of events. If Milan don't sign anybody for the right wing, does that mean we're going to play there this season? We do like to play in quite an advanced role. It would give us a bit more attacking freedom. Could be an interesting position switch by the boss if he does opt to put us there. We'll have to wait and see. We have played there before, I think, in this Milan side. So we can do it. For now, though, it will be Bernardo Silva who does pick up the right wing role. While he back into the starting 11 as uh, Benton Kerr comes into midfield where Silva was playing previous. Different test for us today. Atalanta, Cremonese, no disrespect to them. Didn't put up much of a fight against us on the opening day in terms of defending. They did have a couple of chances themselves, but yeah, they were really powerless to stop us in the attack. And that's a lovely ball over from Teo Hernandez. If only my first touch was better. Oh, that is... Abysmal. That first touch. What a pass it was by Hernandez. Oh, yeah, but my first touch is fine now, clearly, when I don't need it to be. That ball through now for Wahi. Offside flag goes up. If I just get that right, we are in. And surely 1-0. Happens to the best of us, though, with that first touch. Right, Silva, combining passes. It's Bernardo Silva, right-hand side. Good tackle by Romero. Very good tackle. In fact, I think the referee's given a free kick for that. That's quite a surprise. Chance to whip something then. Across the corridor of uncertainty, you could say. There's Buddy! Almost a double! Oh, Mendy, what a save! The rebound sent back in. I was about to say almost a double for Buddy in terms of a goal last game and then a goal this one. That's what I meant by the double. But that save from Mendy as he goes flinging back to his left to claw the ball off the line was exceptional. Milan knocking on the door, but it's Atalanta who are standing firm. Benton Kerr, Hernandez... It's Teo Hernandez still. They've got a lot of players behind the ball. There's Benson Milan break the door, though. And it's 15 minutes on the clock. It's been all Milan since the start. And it's Benson with a goal. Nice ball by Fernandez. Bowen's trying to get in behind here. Bade has done exceptionally well, though, to play it back off him and get the goal kick. So far, I'm very impressed with what I've seen from Bade. Got a goal last game. Nearly had another this one and defensively. Done well there. Theo Hernandez. Now quick one to Liao. Liao, look at the run I'm making here. In a central area. If Liao can play it through, we are in to surely finish for two. They just don't pick us up. The runner from midfield. And Milan have a second. Forgot to change my celebration as well. So that's why I didn't go with the default celebration. But I will remember to do it next game. Here's Ruter. Now finding Terrier. Terrier down the left. Looking for a cutback. Terrier into the area of Milan. No shooting chance goes to Willock. Willock now to the edge of the penalty area. And it's a wonderful strike. 
of the highest quality to get Atalanta a lifeline. I'm calling it a lifeline. It's only 2-1. But from what we've seen in the game, that's literally their first shot. And what a shot it is. Samarzic so with it. And yeah, Mike Manion tries his best. Can't keep it out. I don't think, though, the question this season will be on Milan domestically because we've seen what they are capable of in terms of last season's successes. The question is, can they do it continentally against teams in the Champions League as Liao is in the box, no offside flag and he has the easy job of finishing Atalanta go to sleep they don't even really ask the question of the linesman as to whether or not that was offside against Liao but it's 3-1 Milan and as I'm saying the question isn't on us this season domestically, it's can we do it in Europe, in the Champions League against the biggest teams in football, final five minutes of the game here and Atalanta are trying to get back in this but they're leaving themselves exposed, look Bernardo Silva finds me. Little ball into Wahi. Have we overplayed it slightly? Wahi's done so, so well there in order to get that ball across. And then I've got all the time in the world to control it. Finish. Full-time whistle goes here. Just the casual 11 goals in the first two games. However, no clean sheet in either. Transfer deadline day. Let's see what happens. Are we going to strengthen? Are we going to sell any players? Some of the biggest deals on your screen there. Cody Gakpo joining Leverkusen for 81 million. A couple of rumours involving us with Barr potentially going to Chelsea. Samuel Peters potentially joining us. Jao Neves leaving the club to go to Mönchengladbach. Nuno Mendes, nearly £100 million transfer, sees him join Liverpool. Meanwhile, Samuel Peters has joined us from Atletico. Forrest have signed Harry Kane for £60 million. 34 years of age, still very good though, 87 overall. Final hour of deadline day as the transfer record has been smashed today in deadline day of this particular transfer window because Lotaro Martinez has joined Manchester United for 120 million, which does weaken Inter Milan, which is good for us, I guess. But it looks like that is the end of transfer deadline day. Let's take a look at the club, see who's still here, see who has potentially left us. We have 24 players, so I think Mainan's still in goal. Hernandez, Diaz, Scherz, Bade, who have been very impressive since he's joined. Samuel Peters can play right back or centre back. Barr has, in fact, left. Fresneda now is our only recognised right back, but of course, Peters can play there. Benasur, Benton Kerr, Reinders, myself. Hang on a second, I was going to say, where's Bernardo Silva? He's still there, 87 rated. Pulisic, Salimiekas, Liao, Unal, Mukoko and Wahi. So that's the team locked in. 24 players. Transfer window shuts. Into the season we go. Have seen as well. Champions League group's just been drawn. We are against Bayern, Sevilla and Galatasaray. Decent group that. Now for Monza at the San Siro. Expect goals with the way that the games have gone so far. Here is Hernandez. Hernandez forward to Liao. Wahi waits in the middle. Liao picks out Wahi. Wahi picks out me. We've got time to set ourselves and then finesse the ball into the corner, which, on reflection, wasn't completely in the corner. I forgot to change my celebration again. We'll see it better here. I mean, it's good work by Milan again, as often it is to carve these chances. Just had a lot of time and space to be able to pick our spot, find it, and find it we have. Opening goal of the game. Sure, more to come as well. In fact, I was being a bit harsh on myself. I said it wasn't completely in the corner. Still a very good finish. Bernardo, Wahi, now finding Benton Kerr. Forward for Liao. Still players behind the ball here for Monza. And they're still looking to try and stop this as we're invited to take the ball forwards and just shoot. Samba will save it. It wasn't my finest of efforts, but I get the corner anyway, at least for AC Milan, which will look to deliver. Gone short on quite a few of these recently. There's Ruben Diaz. Powerful header, just lacking the accuracy. In comparison to previous games, a bit quieter here, but still Milan in complete control. As Liao now makes it two. Right on cue. What was I just saying? Liao's there again, and we have a bit of breathing space, but at 1-0 I was still very confident because we've seen nothing of Monza going forwards. What a finish by Liao. Seven minutes to go. Milan 2, Monza 0. Looks like that will be how this game finishes. Mike Mainian may as well have been sat in the stands. He's had nothing to do all game. And Monza can see possession too easily there. Wait for the run of Bernardo. Here he is. Tried to pull it back. Casale gets in the way. And whilst it hasn't been the most flashiest of performances from AC Milan, it's one that 
still was comfortable for them. Sent just to carry Monster forward. We're playing at 10 match rating, even though we've only scored two. Good chance. Oh, no. For the third game in a row, we lack a clean sheet. And I'm not joking when I say this. That's Monster's first shot. There's so many positives to take away from the opening three games of the season. But then there's also the negative of that we haven't yet kept a clean sheet. Conceded a goal in each of the three. I'm sure that'll frustrate Mike Minion, who had nothing to do today at all apart from that one chance late on. And here's where things get that bit more interesting because we've got Italy, we've got Portugal in European Championship qualifiers. And just to remind you of how those Qualifiers have gone so far. Six games, four draws, two wins. We're third. Italy have played an extra game, so if we beat them, we'll go a point behind them. But realistically, we probably need to win both of these fixtures we've got coming up with England. So, yeah, crucial for those. But that is actually, my friends, where I'm going to leave today's episode. We had the transfer window. We've played three matches, seen lots of goals today. And I do want to try and get these episodes out this week in particular daily for you so expect another episode tomorrow at the usual time of 4 p.m and i might even try and get another episode out and go for a double upload day as i am on break from university as uh, it is the easter break right now so have a lovely time hopefully you've enjoyed today's episode if you have a like would be greatly appreciated as always a huge thank you for all of your love and support really appreciate each and every one of you subscribe if you are new around here and like what you see activate the notification bell as well so you don't miss any of the future videos on the channel i'll see you all back here for the double leg header with England. Then we'll take on Roma and hopefully kickstart our Champions League campaign as we face Bayern Munich tomorrow, 4pm. See you then. Adios.